Hello everyone and welcome back to the United Star. We're back with another FPL video with our in-house expert in Shivan. Uh, he is going to tell us uh, the three ways <laughs> that you can include City and United players in your squad over the first few game weeks. So Shivan, what is the first way that you can do this? So the first way you can do this is not something I would recommend, but you can try it as you can keep your City United players on the bench for game week one. So if you want Greenwood, Rashford, Martial, or if you want De Bruyne or Sterling, then you keep them in your team in game week one and uh, you play them on the bench. So they don't, they don't get any points for you, but then you don't have to make a transfer in game week two and three. And maybe you can use a transfer on something else when we realize, okay, I have to get a striker and or any informed player that you have to get in. Now, this is good because um, it helps your tra- saves your transfers, but it's bad because um, you're not maximizing your points in game week one. I like to have my money on the pitch and not on the bench. So it would be not be wise to keep all these high expensive players on your bench for game week one. But that's something you all can use. Right. Uh, only thing that you all could do maybe is keep a Phil Foden on the bench. Maybe if you all think that he's going to start regularly. 6.5 on your bench is not the worst option. But definitely not someone in the range of 9 or above that. The second way you all can do this is, of course, plan your transfers. Now, this has to be a very committed strategy. So, you select your team for game week one. In game week two, you let's say, uh, you select Aubameyang and Salah as your price midfielders. <laughs> And maybe you have a son there. So for game week two, what you do is you transfer one of your premium midfielders out to get in a Bruno Fernandez or a Marcus Rashford or a Mason Greenwood, depending on whichever United player you want. Then for game week three, you take out Aubameyang maybe and you bring in Kevin De Bruyne or Raheem Sterling. You can bring anyone in because De Bruyne is the highest price midfielder. But this yeah. strategy is, is good per se because you maximize on your points. And you bring these players in when their fixtures get better. But the only problem with the strategy is that you have to be committed. Because always in FPL, what happens is some players do really well in the beginning. And then you have to suddenly bring them in. And then you might lose track and you might not be able to bring these players in. If need be, take the minus four maybe. Especially for United assets. Because United have a great run-in of games. And they will get those maximum point hauls. So if a player like say Mitrovic is doing well and he's not in your team and you need to bring him in. Make that double transfer and take the minus four. But this strategy requires commitment. The third one, of course, is to use your yeah. wild card. And Shivan will uh, elaborate on that. Yeah, so you can use a game week, a wild card in game week three. That's seen the perfect time to use a wild card. Because after that, Arsenal have bad fixtures. You can get a bombing out. You can get an Arsenal defender out if you have one. And then City have good fixtures after that. And so United have decent fixtures. So you can do a wild card in game week three. The reason that helps is because any now right now at the start of the season we don't know which players are going to do well for which team we don't know how say Pereira from West Brom will do how Fulham will do how the new promoted teams will do any new players getting transferred in um, in the transfer window so in game week three if you want to make that wild card it lets you get players on earlier compared to the rest and then you can get in your United and City players so you can get in your De Bruyne Sterling or a Rashford Fernandez or Martial in. So that's a good strategy. The reason I wouldn't recommend it is because I like to save my wild card for later because we don't know what's going to happen in this season because it's quite a tricky season. Some teams could have a, a one game week off due to COVID-19. They could get positive cases. You never know what can happen. So I like to keep my wild card in the bank. But I think this is the best strategy because it lets you be flexible in terms of your team and lets you be aggressive so you can get on players before others and then you are much better off for the remaining fight in game weeks. Right. But guys, remember, if at all you all do use this strategy, then remember that the team that you make is your team only for the first two game weeks. So there's no point in being conservative and choosing players that have good fixtures game week two onwards. So go yeah. all out, maybe even triple up on Arsenal if you want. Get the likes of Aubameyang, Saka, maybe Pepe, Lacazette. Yeah. Get all of them in. Get the likes of Spurs and Harry Kane and Son in. Get those big hitting players in, try to maximize that and then you build your long-term team from game week 3 onwards. This strategy is good but then also keep in mind that like as Shivan said, that stuff could change very quickly and also the transfer season will yet be open by the time you've already used your wildcard. Yeah. You never know on deadline day what could happen or closer to deadline day which players could come in. So do watch out for that. But yeah, yeah. so these are the three broad strategies. First one is uh, keep your big hitting De Bruyne and Bruno Fernandes on the bench for the first two weeks, which we don't recommend at all. The second strategy is plan your transfers and stay committed to them. We kind of recommend that the most. And then the third one is use your wildcard after game week two. 
uh, we'll be going through each of these strategies and how you can make drafts around it. We'll be giving you suggestions. So do watch out for that. Thanks for watching. And also, uh, just a reminder, the links for our Fantasy Premier League are in the description below. Check that out. Join it. Already almost 50 people have joined the league. And the winner gets a jersey of their own choice for next season. So watch that. Stay tuned to the channel for more tips. And see you soon.